So I'm going to interview you guys. Why are you here? For who? Ah, oh, from USC. Okay. What are you? So what are you studying at USC? We're master students in the journalism. Okay. So how do you think this is going to affect you when you go out into the workforce? AI is something that could take a lot of jobs, including uh -huh. journalism, because, you know, I don't know if you like use the technology, but you could put in a subject, you know, write like a whole paper about it. Right. So it's something that could take everybody. Yes. Yeah. And also, uh, I was telling, uh, just to let you know, so I have two documentary films that I directed that are on Amazon Prime. That's why I'm striking here. And they've gotten, I've gotten paid zero dollars. Because they just tell me, oh, your movie's not making money, and they won't release the financials. Yeah, go for it. What's the name of the doctor? Uh, oh, I'll yeah, you can do it. <laughs> My name is Graham Elwood. How you Here, G R A H A M. So we're it's a dual interv interview. Yeah, look at this, back and forth. <laughs> um, yeah, G R A H A M E L W O O D. Awesome. And why are you out here today? I'm out here today because I'm a SAG after member, and I'm also a uh, filmmaker. So as a SAG after member. First of all, there was a, a TV show I was on, Comedy Central, Nick Schwartz's percent, Pretend Time. And yesterday, I got a residual check for five cents. Five cents. Five cents, which is actually kind of sweet because my rent is a penny. Uh, you know, and my, my, car, my car insurance and car payment is like a penny. Groceries are sweet now. Groceries are awesome. So groceries are a penny. So I got two extra pennies now. I'm probably going to take those and go to Vegas. Just because I'm balling so hard with that five cent residual check. Hi. Um, and uh, that's the show that is paying me residuals. There's also another a game show that I hosted called Cram on the Game Show Network. Okay. We did it 20 years ago. Um, and none. I'm the host of it. They started rerunning that show two years ago. Game Show Network is owned by Sony. So this is the thing you need to understand, and your audience needs to understand. We're not dealing with one little company. We're dealing with these giant multinational conglomerates, right? So that show, I'm the host of it. I'm in 90% of the shots, and I'm getting $0. So someone's making money off of this, and I'm not. I'm not asking for more money than what I'm owed. I'm just asking for a fair share of it. And right now, $0 is not a fair share. So what we're kind of talking about is AI and how those are playing a huge role in the negotiations. So what are your feelings on AI? Well, yeah, they're gonna—they would love to use because because they would love to just have AI replace everybody because AIs aren't gonna go on strike. AIs aren't gonna aren't gonna find out where Bob Iger lives, the head of Disney. You know what I mean? Are these other executives that say their goal of the WGA strike was to get these writers to lose their homes and their apartments? So they're they're worried about that because no. Uh, if, if people are, are losing their homes, if uh, any of these executives have ever read a history book, it doesn't go well for the ruling elites throughout history when people are so hungry they can't feed themselves. Because right now people got, they don't want to lose their homes and they're, but when people are so hungry, then they get mad. See, I studied history. And when people get mad, uh, I don't know, talk to somebody in France, people lost their heads. So AI is the, the creators of it as I'm sure you're aware and your audience is aware, is out there saying, this is dangerous. The creators of it are like, this is an out of control technology and they want to use it to not have to pay. They, they hope everything's automated so that they can just keep more profits and more money. You know, like it's, a, it's, a, it's egregious how much money they have. The average uh, salary of a, any CEO of any corporation in the United States is over $17 million a year. That's the average. These like the, the that's right on. I'm right on par. I'm just right on par with my five cents. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah. So these guys literally, Bob Iger, the head of Disney, made thirty million dollars last year. Ted Sarandos made something like forty some. He's the head of Netflix. He made forty some million dollars. So these guys literally, the average American salary is under fifty thousand dollars a year. These guys could cut their salaries in half and still be crazy rich and it would just mean that instead of a five cent residual check i get it i get a 500 dollars one yeah. that i can actually pay some bills with you know i mean it's preposterous i'm not asking for 20 million dollars i'm asking for just the ability to pay my bills so yes thank you all right good luck thank you yes absolutely uh just type it's g-r-a-h-a-m Last name is Elwood, E-L-W-O-O-D. 
And that's everything. My website is GrahamElwood.com. My social is all at Graham Elwood. Thank you so much. Sure. And that's my YouTube channel is Graham Elwood. YouTube.com slash Graham Elwood. Love it. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. No Thank you.